Hello everybody, this is Shebi Tofiak. So in the last tutorial, we saw how to create an enemy, how to apply animations, and how to control the animations with the uh, animator. So today, we're going to start making our enemy going from point A to point B. So we're going to start going from point A to point B. So it is a lateral system going from A to B and what's going to happen we're gonna first we're gonna add going to add a box collider to our enemy then we're gonna add a rigid body to the enemy so with the speed uh, with his speed our enemy gonna go from A to B and what's going to happen that our enemy will be flipping flipping when he hits an empty game object with the collider at a point and the same at b point so let's go back to unity and let's get started first let's select our enemy our enemy sprite and let's try to add a new rigid, uh, a new box collider 2d then let's try to add new rigid body 2d okay now let's try to create a new script we're gonna call it enemy script okay open it up and we'll not develop So the first thing we're going to start doing is adding a velocity to our player. So let's try to declare a new variable. So the variable is going to be a jet body 2D uh, RB for example. And let's declare, declare a new float speed equal to 2 so now as an uh, initialization we're gonna make rb equal to get component we should body 2d and what's going to happen when we play the start button our uh, Unity editor will be trying to access uh, trying to access the rigid body component here. So after that in the update we're gonna change it to fix it update we're gonna go because we are going to work with physics and now we're gonna add a new velocity. So RB velocity equal a new vector vector 2 0 and the x and speed and the y so now let's save our code make sure that your code is already applied on your enemy and let's play so as the default value rb is none but when we play sorry i applied the force and the packing y was it y sorry let's go to zero okay everything is good now go back to unity and let's test it's okay so a new force will be applied each frame it iterates by two so as you see our wall our rb uh, value is going to be our walk zero rigid body so now what's uh, going to do it's very simple let's try to create a new variable a new uh, empty game object let's call it flip 
رجع بس اد نيو تاك كرييت فليبينج ميك شور ذات اور فليب لقى از فليبينج اند لتس تراي تو اد نيو بوكس كولايدر 2 دي اند ميك شور اتس تريجر So everything is okay. Now let's try to place it here. Let's try to give it something like here. Okay, it's okay. So let's make a two of it. So our player will be patterning from point A to point B. Okay. Let's go back here. Void. Trigger and trigger enter two D. Sorry, collider two D call. make sure that it's equal to the same clipping the same variable name we give it here clipping double p and f is okay so if it's so this is true what you're gonna do you're gonna flip our layer by the X. But before that, let's select our enemy and let's see in the sprite render we have and flip it's a boolean a boolean variable. So what we're gonna do is to flip x f x value you gonna true if you're gonna flip else if you're gonna go as default. So Let's go here and let's try to make public type sprite and verb okay. So, if there is a collision between the player and the game object with the tag flipping, our has p dot as prior, sorry, flip x equal to two. Okay, now let's go back to Unity. And that's test our game. Make sure it's a trigger. So everything is okay. So it's a flip it. But we need to make something else. Speed equal to minus speed. Okay. Go back. Sorry. Everything is great now. So what we're gonna do now is adding a new condition. So f assert dot flip x is false. You're gonna do like this okay but before that let's add a return so we add return to make sure that our code will be executed before going to the else here so else sprite render dot flop flip x equal 
to solves. But make sure that the speed go back to two. Now let's save. Let's go back to Unity and let's try to see what's going to happen. So our player is going to patrol between A point and B point. So today we added uh, a very basic AI system, artificial intelligence, but without adding the Unity in uh, using the Unity Engine AI, so it's a very basic AI system. The next tutorial we're gonna uh, see how to make the camera follow our our player, not our enemy, our player. Then we're gonna so see how it's going to be done. Thank you so much. For watching this tutorial we're gonna make something amazing in the next tutorial and we're gonna work with some AI systems how to make uh, the player uh, for example stay and uh, watch the Zeppelin going uh, the left or the right side and may we can always make an intelligent system giving the enemy the ability to avoid the bombs or to fight back or to do something like that. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Good night.